All right, so I'm going to give you some pointers on how to submit a successful playing test. Um, the first thing is just establish your sound. Okay, so if you're sitting in a small room like this or whether you're out in a garage somewhere, uh, establish your sound. Okay, and make sure it's the kind of sound that resonates, that fills up all the crevices of the room. Um, don't record your playing tests when other people are sleeping and you have to play super quiet and subdued. You know, wait till a time where you can really do this. You can even come into the band room during the break and record these, okay? But just establish your sound, you know? Uh, hit record on your device, and then just hear it. And then listen back to it and see if that's the kind of sound that you want to hear on your playing test. And then just hear it. All right, so I can hear my microphone actually cutting out just a little bit. So um, that's on a desktop microphone on a phone. It's probably going to be a little bit better. So, but I can hear myself. Okay, now if I couldn't hear myself or you know, if it was really muffled, then I would think, okay, I need to play a little bit louder and fill up my horn full of nice warm air. Okay, all right. The next thing is use a metronome. So the tests that we're going to be submitting are 80 beats a minute. Um, you can go to Google, type in metronome online, and the first thing that pops up, you don't even have to click on the link, it's a metronome that immediately appears, and you have a little sliding scale to adjust the tempo. Uh, that's the one I'm going to be using for this demonstration. So the second thing is go ahead and record your test at 80 beats a minute. <coughs> Give yourself a little count off. So you think one two, big breath, and then play. Then record your test. And then probably one of the most important things about submitting a playing test is to listen to it before you submit it. I'm always amazed at how many students submit playing tests and auditions when it's pretty obvious they hadn't listened to it before they submitted it. And they take a lower grade than they would have received had they just listened to it and fixed the mistakes that they heard. Um, so you would never submit a math test knowing that you are making tons of mistakes. You would take the time to redo that, I hope. Okay, these tests are no different. So listen to them. So I'm gonna to listen to that and see if I'm happy with it, okay? So, in my opinion, that first note wasn't as strong as I probably would like it to be. If I were a student submitting that test, I would definitely re-record that and fix that. Okay? Um, now, that's kind of just a... That's getting a little picky, a little picky, but uh, I think that's okay to be picky. You should be picky when you're playing by yourself, especially. If you hear wrong notes, you're going to hear them pretty immediately because it's a major scale or a minor scale exercise, and they have a very predictable sound to the pattern that we play. Okay? I hope that helps and understand that when I'm listening to you, um, I'm wanting to hear your best, okay? I want to hear you sound great and I'm rooting for you, um, but give yourself the best chance of success that you can by playing confidently, using a metronome, and analyzing your performance before you submit the test, okay? Do a great job, sound great, keep improving, I'll see you in class.